This is Single Pack Link. To learn more about the Game Boy Advance Single Pack multiplayer functionality, such as how to connect compatible games with GBA Link cables, be sure to check out my how-to video, link in the description. Like Boundish, Bit Generation's DigiDrive is the only other GBA game to require the use of wireless adapters to take advantage of the Single Pack Link multiplayer mode. This Japanese exclusive game is not compatible with a standard Link cable. Before you can play, the host GBA must first select the download option from the main menu and send the program to the wirelessly connected standby GBA. After the program downloads, the host player can then activate the two-player option. So, here's the thing. DigiDrive is a weird puzzle game that has a learning curve, but it's actually pretty awesome once you figure it out. To quickly summarize, each player needs to guide randomly appearing arrow icons on the left side of the screen. Using only the D-pad, each player directs these icons into one of the four main directions. You want to line up five of the same icons in a row, then trigger those icons with the siren icon. Doing this launches the disc on the right side of the screen closer to your opponent's goal. Eventually, items can be used to hinder your opponent just like in any good puzzle game, so gameplay is pretty detailed despite the minimalist presentation. Yeah, again I know this looks super confusing, and yeah it is, but trust me, it's a pretty fun game. Once both players understand the unique gameplay and rule set, matches can get rather heated and take a while to complete. Thankfully, the futuristic ambient soundtrack helps carry the experience and there's even a few different visual color palettes available. So a weird puzzle game gets even weirder due to the fact that it's only compatible with the more obscure wireless accessory, released in limited quantities in one region. But, if you have the chance to play a match of wireless DigiDrive, I highly recommend it as there's nothing else quite like it and the longer matches are better suited to the wireless communication, which remains stable in all my testing. This is a total sleeper hit for sure. But what do you think? Have you ever played any Bit Generations game? Have you ever taken advantage of the wireless adapters that were originally bundled with the GBA Pokemon games? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this Game Boy Advance single pack link coverage, be sure to check out my single pack playlist because I covered every GBA game that supports this forgotten and neglected feature. Links will be in the description. Until next time, thank you for watching and game on.